Hi Cancers, welcome to your reading guys. This is our weekly message from your person, not in depth. Tarot reading, no, but I will pull us some oracle cards. We're going to go into the oracle cards pretty heavy this week. Guys, I used the Rose Oracle deck. Meditated with it before we start your reading. I wanted Spirit to show me, my guides to show me. What's the energy that would be coming out? And on this reading for my cancers. Beloveds, we got the mystic rose. The mystic rose. Compassion. Devotion. Humility. Humanity. And grace. Grace. Because I love this card. Because the mystic rose, you know that is Mother Mary. Yes, the goddess. The goddess of old. Celtic goddess, mother goddess. Hmm. Rose of my heart, beloved of my heart. And this is what I think of when I think of my cancers. I don't care what your gender is. I always think of you in that Queen of Cups energy. One that dives deep into the depths of others, but so badly needs to stay grounded. On the earth. Mm -hmm. But sometimes that's really hard. For my cancers to do that. Because guys when. We, when we go through something. And we get hurt. Somebody does something to us. That feels just absolutely. Horrible. It can create a sadness. Into the depths. Of our intuitive empathic souls. That clouds us over. Brings that veil of cloud and darkness over us to where we're looking through that lens and that filter. Feeling like I'm surrounded by this. this. I don't want to be in a world that has such coldness and callousness and pain. Sometimes we forget because we get lost in, in that energy. To look for the beauty and the light. You see her veil? Hopefully you can see the card. Her veil is roses. See the light and the rose and the beauty. Look for the light, the rose and the beauty. The compassion. To understand. Why? Why cruel stuff happens in this world? Why we treat each other so coldly, callously? What compels it? Dive deeper into it, but don't drown in it. Because our Queen of Cups in the Tarot, guys, her throne is just not like the Scorpio King of Cups sitting out in the middle of stormy waters with all this confidence. Our Queen sits at the shore with one foot in the water and one foot on the earth because she needs to be able to stay grounded because she can get lost in the heavy darkness of this world and the pain that she sees or experiences and forget the ground it, the ground guys the earth grounds her back to be able to come out of it snap out of it look for the light and the beauty and don't leave guys because a lot of times we'll want to jump out of this world when we've been hurt so bad and feel like we're surrounded by just ugly, ugly. And we were like, please, just God, get me out of here. This is, this, this is hell. Don't leave because the world needs your soul, your presence, your energy to stay, not just be that spiritual guide influence angel over others but the earth angel that we need in our presence let's jump into your reading guys Ooh, that was deep that was deep feeling it deep on my cancers guys i love y'all mm -mm -mm -mm. let's jump in let's see whose energy is coming in the strongest for my cancers this week Y'all know all my readings are meant to bring you confirmations of the things you already intuitively 
and instinctively know about the person and the connection. If it doesn't happen with this reading, you can check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. You can check that one out and see if I was able to pick up energy there. And my cancers, y'all please keep in mind I am reading for my cancer tribe. There's more than one of you. So, when we get into the reading, any part of it that resonates for you, take that with you. And any part that you know absolutely does not resonate for you, leave it on the table for your other tribe members just in case it's resonating for them. Let's jump in, guys. Last spirit, please show me the energy. Oh, we got our first one out. I'll show it to you in a minute. But I want you to know what I'm asking. I'm asking spirit to show me your energy, what this person has brought into your energy. Did our lights just go off, guys? They really did. Ooh, that might be confirmation for someone. Let's see if we can get them back on here. Ooh, they don't want to come back on. Y'all hold on. We're not going without the magic. Okay, guys. Got the lights back on. Somebody was fighting that magic of, I'm not turning the lights back on. I don't want to see it. <laughs> okay, guys. Your first energy this is what flew out. Twin flame. I remember who you are. I've loved you before. And with the mystic rose, guys, being the overall energy of this, we might be going through a time of trying to remember. I love you. I loved you. I did love you. We may have went through something, a bad, bad experience or where we lost total sight of what we truly felt and we were denying it because of all the ugliness, all the coldness, all the hurt, the pain. We might have been denying it, but there was a point. And when you can get past all of the heavier energy, the emotions, the hurt, when you can get past that and look at yeah, I know, I know, but I do remember a time when I truly loved you. Let's keep going. You got hot, cold, hot, cold. You deserve better than my hot and cold. Divine timing. Trust in the perfection of divine timing, the divine unfoldment of something. We, we put in some energy with the, the person coming forward. I've been praying for that being able to work through, but there was a lot of hot and cold going on. Mm. And and I get a sense that, you know, they brought in the hot, the coldness, and they brought that out in you now of you falling back and forth between the hot and cold, not being able to remember at one point, I loved you. I really did love you, fully loved you. Healing. I'm healing those parts of me I avoided for so long. Definitely going through a healing process, rising above this, guys. Playing games, playing around, having fun, didn't mean to waste your time. Got two more on this one. Damaged. Before you date me, understand I am damaged in a broken soul. A damaged and broken soul. And work. Work. Mm. I'm focusing on work. To have more financial stability is what it says. And for some of us, we might have threw ourselves into. Focusing in on financial stability. Anything other than this connection. Anything other than what was going on in this connection. We needed to distract ourselves from that pain because we weren't looking through a veil of roses. We weren't able to see through a veil of roses. Mm -hmm. Because somebody did play with us. They did play around with our hearts. They were callous, cold. It's hard to understand why. When we love to such a deep level, when we put so much of ourself into it. But your higher self, your guides, the divine is calling you back 
to look at. I loved you before. But what I didn't really pay attention to, and what I didn't keep sight of, that you were a damaged and broken soul. When I first got with you, I knew that. I knew that. And I thought divine timing would bring the healing to us. Hmm. Tried to step in, went the distance, because God, guys, really beloved of my heart. It's your mother. It's the mother energy. Beloved of my heart. The mother energy that will go the distance with you and stick by you, even in the moments that when we're you're all grown up and you think you're standing on your own and and you fall, you're going through terrible times. And for those of us that are blessed, our mothers are the one that stood in that mother energy for us, shows up. They show up for us. They're there. They go the distance with us. And this is what we were doing, going the distance. But we didn't realize how much our heart got cut and started bleeding from trying to go the distance. And we lost sight of, I love you too. I loved you. I still do. I'm angry at you. And I need to heal from this. Now we are into our own healing process and knowing we have to go through our own healing process for us because we got drugged down with someone that was damaged and broken. Let's pull their energies, Cancer. Spirit, give me the Cancer's person's energy, please. Cancer's person. Manifesting. I'm manifesting loving and meaningful relationships. Apology. I'm sorry. It's my fault. What can I do to make it right? What else? Making the effort. I'm willing to put in the work to have our happily ever after. One more. Separation. I had to walk away to find what I deserved. Ooh, my cancers. Hmm. We're definitely separated out, out from this person right now. This person's trying, they're wanting apology. It's my fault. I'm willing to try now, but there's a separation. You walked away because you deserved much more than what I was bringing. Hmm. Allow yourself, my cancers, the time for this healing process. And just because you're being called back, to compassion. You're being called back to a deeper understanding of what compelled this person to behave the way they did, to play around, to play games, to play with your heart the way that they did. But it don't mean you're being called back to the person. And you have to get with your higher self, your guides, the divine. To know for sure because we went into this with the mother the mystic rose, the mother, of wanting to go the distance with someone, to love someone on a deep, deep level. But we got hurt in the process. Mm -hmm. So I have no advice for you guys when it comes to this person's longings over here and what they're bringing forward for you other than you will know. But you do need your time to heal to let go of some of the pain because what they brought on to you is a veil that has you looking out into a world that you can no longer see beauty anywhere or light anywhere. Hmm. 
take the time to heal that you need. Let's get on talking, guys. Let's get into the deck. This is for my cancers, person. This is for my cancers. Talk to us. Don't pop. Everything become a chore. Felt like everything become a chore. Routine chore. Same thing. Blah. Playing around. What if you finally see I'm not good enough for you? Keep talking. My cancers. I can feel myself being pulled to you. You know you can bring me so much misery. Your words broke me. I miss you more than you realize. I didn't realize how intimately you knew and understood me. I didn't realize it. What else? It felt like I was under some kind of spell. A spell that was pulling me away from you, running from you, ignoring, not acknowledging what you were there, that you were there for me. This has been the devastation of my soul. I'm stuck in the memories of you, of us. What else? You did try to warn me. You did. I couldn't hear you. I didn't want to hear you. You did try. I don't want to live the untold love story of never knowing what could have been. What could have been. What if? I feel like a failure. I need your honesty. I needed your honesty. I need it now. I wasn't ready to deal with it, much less face it. But I need it now. I didn't realize how just how much I needed your words, your honesty. What else? Your pain matched my pain. I don't want to be broken anymore. Be vulnerable with me. I want to know and hear your thoughts and feelings, your truths. I don't need my truths anymore. I need yours. This kind of connection doesn't happen every day. Ooh, we're getting two? Yes, we're getting two, guys. I made the wrong decision. I can't stop kicking myself. We are all lost just looking for some place or someone to call home. What else are my cancerous persons? I'm living a nightmare. I feel like I'm living a nightmare. Hold the energy on the deck. Guys, our next deck, I chose the passive feminine side of divine feminine, divine masculine. The reason I chose the feminine energy, I wanted to keep things soft, open, receptive, and not afraid to share the vulnerability. So, and y'all know it's a little deck. I, f I fumble with this one. So give me a minute to get energy on it. Let's ask Spirit to help your person place this deck in order so I can read from the bottom. Where I don't have to pull them out. Help us out, Cancer's person. Put your energy on here. Tell me when to stop. Tell me when to stop. Ooh, they pop one out for us. Mm -hmm. Hang on. They got me keep going, keep going. 
One more. Ooh, I guess I put that one back on the bottom. Okay. Have I waited too long? Did I lose you? I hope I still have a chance with you. I dream of you. I dream of you. A lot of big changes have happened. I'm trying to figure things out. Please have patience. It may not seem so, but I'm getting it slowly. But I am. Slowly. <laughs> They're emphasizing that slowly. I've been a slow learner. I'm hiding the way I truly feel. I've spent a long time doing this one, guys. I realized I was selfish. I feel ashamed of that. I wasn't sure how my life would change if we continued the connection. I sometimes feel intimidated by you. Am I good enough for you? I don't know that I'm good enough for you. I am trying to be strong and fight my feelings for you. I feel so damaged and jaded, but you knew that already about me, didn't you? I'm hiding my real feelings, not just from you, but from myself. I wasn't just hiding my feelings from you. I was deluding myself. I have to focus on money and financial stability right now because I got some big issues going on with that one. You can feel her energy on that one. Are you going to reject me? Are you mad? I really want to see you again, hold you again, and feel you again. Feel just come off the card, guys. It lifted up because this person is saying they used to think they could feel your energy, feel your presence with them, but it's like that's drawed away from them. It's like your energy drew away from them. They can't feel you the way they used to feel you when you're not there. Hmm. Cancers, let's go ahead and give your person a chance to close off the reading, give you a final message from the reading. We're using the big guns. Y'all know that's the deck of love, pouring out the heart, light side of conversation with counterpart. This is for my Cancers person. Close us out. Open your heart. Pour it out. Don't be standing in no fear for us. Just pour out what's there. Talk to my Cancers. Pop. I feel you here with me. Ooh. Did you draw back from them? And are they starting to feel you? your energy drawing back to them? You're so beautiful. I'm struggling to share my heart. It's hard for me to share my heart. Keep talking. Oh, wait, 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 guys, that one, that one. You're my lighthouse guiding me to shore. Lead the way. Your energy will show me the way. Your light will show me. You found me when no one else could see me. No one else could see me. You know you loved me anyway. Even when I was damaged, I still feel damaged, jaded, F up. But you loved me anyway. I'm thinking about us. We're under the same sky. Feel me there. Can you feel me with you? Trying to communicate with you. Last one. I love you so much it scares me. Hmm. Cancers. Guys, that's all I have for us. Sending you love and light. Bless be.